Okay, Matt's got this all marked out, the uh, plate with some reference lines. Um, next thing we need to do before we get started here is just get our marks on our cap rail here. So we already know that the distance where we'll, we're welding the plate in. And so um, it's uh, inch and three quarter from the what would be the inside edge right here. So we're gonna put a reference mark along this whole thing. So we know where to bend our plate and it's easy to reference off of this. Um, the goal is to get it really close and then it's just less stress to have to pull the plate in and position it and it'll just come out better, the results. We're gonna go ahead and get some marks on this and then we'll get set up to start bending this nice, beautiful piece of plate. You can see our bending die here. I don't know if you guys saw it yet, but it's pretty high tech. Yeah. Oh, you might be mind blown. So this is what we got going on here. Um, it's super simple by design. Uh, it's just a floor jack, a log out of our forest. We just hit it with the planer a little bit to get rid of the knots that were right there, give a fairly smooth uh, surface so we didn't have any lumps or anything. Um, and yeah, we just lift it up against the inside of this plate and and that's kind of forms the die, I guess. And so just work it along slow, um, every inch, inch and a half, two inches. If you feel it, um, it's, it's pretty darn smooth. And uh, I don't know if you can really see it. It's hard to tell right now because of the reflections. When this metal is new, it's, it's really reflective. And, and so it's kind of hard to tell if it's a, a wave in the metal or if it's just a reflection of something else sometimes. And once the stuff gets weathered and turns more of a matte finish like this, then it'll hide all those imperfections a lot better too. So inch and three quarter, yeah? Uh, correct, yeah. So we'll just put a series of marks here and then maybe find something to kind of use as a batten, I guess. Like I say, the goal is just to minimize the amount of stress that we're actually pulling this plate in place when we're welding it. Because all that's gonna kind of transfer into the into the bulwarks, into the fiberglass bulwark. We'll go ahead and get this thing into our bending die. You got that, buddy? Got it. Okay, stop. Let's square up your plate a little bit. So I'm just measuring off this log, which is the bottom of our die, to just make sure that it's somewhat um, perpendicular to our bend here. Be perpendicular, it'd be parallel, I guess, to our bend. Yeah, bro. That's what I meant to say. Uh, 15 and 3 Let's give it a little tap with my mallet. And that's pretty close. Doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to be kind of close. All right, well, just give it a little bend and see what happens here. I don't know how much force to apply here. Like, is that good, you think? <clears throat> is that any bend there? Probably not yet, huh? Probably not yet. We'll probably need to actually... We might need to just Turn. give it its initial bend here. Uh, yeah. So we can uh, kind of just... Just the overall bend, and then we can dial in the next little bends. I guess if, uh, let's just put a notation here so we know which side we're working on here. So this is going to be up, yeah? Mm -hmm. And forward, yes. Right. So you kind of got to get your uh, spring back factor into your head when you're bending aluminum 
It has quite a bit of spring back so it doesn't actually bend for quite a bit of flex. That is. Yeah. It takes a little bit of force. I think we better flip this plate around, huh? Probably. Or the jack. But the plate's easier to flip around. There you go. It did something. Tiny bit. Well, we're getting it figured out here. So you're just eyeballing the lines right here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And I'm just measuring down here off this log to make sure that it's somewhat parallel. I'm not being too picky. With a quarter inch, that's fine. Just kind of keep going bit by bit, yeah? Mm-hmm. in between yeah. each bend mm -hmm. and then on the line and then in between. It's probably better to do a bunch of series of little ones than big ones. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that should be. Not very scientific, but I can feel it. Feels good. Yeah, I can see. It's forming a bend. Do we Not need much to, of one so far, but... Do we need to check it and see if we're on the right track or just keep rolling? Nah, just keep rolling. It's, right. it's not got much yet. Okay. Maybe. I don't even know. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. If I'm even doing anything here. Oh yeah. No, that's going good though. Alright. It's looking good. Well, we'll pull this out and we'll... Uh, Drop it on our dealio over here, our cap rail, and take a look, huh? So that's where we're at so far. Feels good, it feels smooth. You can feel one right here from our very first bend, but that's okay. It should smooth out as we go. Yeah, looks good. <clears throat> Got a ways to go yet. So if you tried to pull this in with clamps and stuff, you'd really impart a lot of stress into everything that this is connected to. So that's the reasoning behind bending this and trying to get it pretty close too. Keep on going. Yeah. Keep on keeping on. Starting to get some nice bend on it now, here. Looking pretty good. Looks nice and fair so far. So, yeah. Looks like we'll have to run this through at least one more time here. So, kind of the, the concept is just to sneak up on it, so to speak. So you could easily just double what we're doing. Only problem is it's really over to uh, really easy to overbend it and not so easy to to unbend it without having a, a hard spot in there and so it looks like we're a little flat right here still this is looking pretty good but we got a bit bit to go yet we were kind of running out of stroke on our <clears throat> jack there and uh, we'll get this bent and we'll kind of eyeball it again on our uh, cap rail and then we'll do another round, huh? Yep.
looks good. Turn it sideways a little bit. So you can see the bend in it. So yeah, we got that bend right there. Now it's kind of migrating back that way. As you bend, make little bends, you start to see uh, flat zones that you then say, all right, that bend is next. So kind of looks like right here is a bit of a flat, but also keep in mind your reference line. Yeah. Try and match up your plate as best you can to that, and you'll kind of be able to tell where you need to bend it. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. It's looking very good. So. It is. So this looks pretty fair here. Coming it does. The line. So I'm thinking kind of just here again. Or yeah, maybe yeah. Like I, right no, here. I see that a little bit of a flat spot there, huh? Yep. Two more bends here. And check again. Almost back on the X's again. Mm hmm. This looks like really good all through here now. I think I you're see right. The curve there, yeah. So we're just right back in here now. Yep, on these two and the. Yeah, the hard part now, guys. Um, not over bending, sneaking up on this so we don't have a bad kink in it. Now you know why it takes forever to do anything. Well, you work with what you have for tools, and if you want good results, then you just have to be patient and take the time to do it. Two normal bends, and then check again. Probably good. Yeah, we're good. Wow, look at that. Yep, got a curve in there now. Now the flat has moved over. We'll bring you back in for the final reveal here. Get this truck down to the boat and do some trimming and fitting and some welding. What do you think, Matt? How'd it turn out? Pretty good. So we got a pretty fair curve on here. You can see it matches the cap rail pretty good. Over here you might notice it's a little flat, but this actually is where it comes into the aft plate, so it's uh, relatively flat in there anyways, kind of the bend, pretty much the curve starts where the cap rail starts curving, so this area being flat is no deal, no big deal. We're happy with it, we're gonna go ahead and roll with it, Yep. bring these down to the boat and get them fit up, Yeah. Roll it in. That's just putting some finishing touches on the bottom side of the plate that gets flipped over for the corner over there. Makes all the difference in having a nice jagged sharp edge like this or taking a few minutes to dress it up and make it nice. Cool. get that one in yet. Might have to go with this long one in the center first. Or... Yeah. All right, well, plates fit up pretty good. Got bolted in. I think we got to trim a little bit in this gap over here on the outside. 
but we'll just use a cutting disc for that. Sneak in there and uh, That looks pretty good. Yeah. Just a little bit of tweaking here, a little bit of fine tuning. No, if that needs to come in a little bit or not, I don't think it does. Got a little bit of a gap there, but nothing some wire won't fill. Pretty good, that's he? Mm-hmm. Yeah.